Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2! I was like collecting the hearts from the poop shed because you could just feel them going like, ah, there's the. There they are. Anyway, let's go ahead and stick our nasty hand in this nasty pot and grab some night soil. Because we gotta help out Wrigley by making some worm food. Oh, wow, really? I can only make one? Well, one's gonna have to do for now. I was hoping to make two. I'm not going to worry too much about making sure this entire place is... Oh, jeez, this is gonna take forever. I'm not going to worry too much about making sure that I collect all of the worm food. Or no, I'm going to um, then making sure all of the town is green. Because to a degree, um, that problem will solve itself eventually. So I'm not going to like waste time and resources on that before then. But we do need to make an area green, so we might as well make an area green. Um... You know what, good enough. If I get another one, I'll put it, like, next to it over here and green up this area a little. Okay, so while he... What are you doing, Wrigley? Yeah, well, you made one square. Get back to work. You don't want to know. It's fertilizer. Everybody's so excited about this one little square of grass. Oh yeah, I suppose flowers aren't going to grow in this nasty crap. Oh no. Wrigley. God dang it. All right, well, guess what? Um they're doing that. You know, I'm going to leave these over here. Kind of like move them a little bit. Do like this or something. Um, I never made Malroth his swinger. His big, his big meaty. Oh, the nice thing about that breath gauge increase that was mentioned before. Is it also increases running distance. It's just your stamina gauge. Okay, so I was just going to move this down a little bit this way. And then we put all our little chairs around so everybody has a place to sit and eat. This place gets bigger, we're gonna have to expand this out, so I'll just stretch it out that way. People are still kind of dumb about like where to get food, so I'm gonna put a chest like right here. Like, there's so much kind of automation, but also people are kind of dumb. So the first nice thing is you can go in here and put resources in here that I don't have on my hotbar. Like, uh, cabbage. I've actually cooked cabbage before, right? It... Isn't it supposed to give you a hint? Whatever, I'll just cook the cabbage. Ah, it is! Dang it! Okay, well, whatever. Um, so you put the stuff in here, they'll take it out, they'll cook it, and then they'll put it back in here. However, if there is a dining room nearby, 
They'll even come out and put it in the bowls so they can keep eating. They seem to be kind of dumb about that sometimes, though. So every now and then, if they're not really on the ball about that, I gotta run in and grab it out of that chest and, like, put it in this chest or something. I don't know. We should be doing okay, though. Like most everything we got now, we should be pretty well set for a while. Malroth, of course, is alerting us to oncoming danger, and the town is still going to get larger. And then there's the issue of these, uh, these over here, where it's mentioned they'll farm for us. And to do that, we just have to look at the scarecrow, and we can select from the scarecrow what we want to grow. Here, I want to grow wheat. So now this whole area is going to be wheat. So I put this chest here, so any wheat seeds I find, I just put in this chest. Uh, same thing here, you can grow cabbages. And then over here, let's grow sugarcane. So neat stuff. Neat stuff. Now, if only they harvested it themselves, the lazy bums. But otherwise, that's about all we can do right now. Uh, we can go look at what kind of weaponry everybody has, get them upgraded some. Because I got this fancy new spiked sword now. So how many people need a spiked sword? One. Two. Three, four. Five. It's like five people. So let's go make... No, I need more brambles. That's one for you. One for you. One for you. One for you. And I have one left over, but this guy is currently standing in Al's hitbox. So I can't talk to only him. Thanks, Al. You're great. Well, if I manage to spot this guy after the fighting starts, then I'll give him his weapon. All right, Malroth! Friggin' Brittany's just ready to break some heads. Let's go. Hey, Al, don't you, like, know these guys? What's going on? Okay, so who's the guy without a weapon? That guy, right there. Ah, no! I did it. Oh man, they got the clouds! Get rid of these clouds, man. These guys are... It's like killing the mages in back. Man, they paralyze you rough. Okay, we did it. I think everybody's got a weapon. I'm gonna get away from him before he does his job, and then I'm gonna finish him off. Then I'm gonna get smacked a little bit, but that's fine. So Malroth does, like, a lot more damage than we do. But I think somebody was mentioning that in the end, your DPS is actually even possibly slightly better than him, if only because... Um, your attack speed is way faster than him. I don't know how that holds up over the course of the game, though. I feel like the disparity between the two of you just kind of... grows. Man, these big things got so much friggin' health.
Okay, just Skelebro. I love how everybody runs away from him. Oh, that was it? I was expecting like a whole nother wave. Hey! I think these big fights are like automatic level ups or something. Man, learning stuff, what do I learn? Training togs. Ooh. That's like our very first piece of defensive gear. Yeah. Man, that high five is so nice. Or did maybe, did Al just like, like I'm sure he could talk to him, but if he's like on our side, has he just like completely gone AWOL at this point? Yeah, you know. Start building, yo. Yes. So we've still got two more types of crops to grow. What do you want, Perry? Oh yeah. Hey, I remember that bridge. And there's another crop on the other side, cool. I named them Pepperoni. <laughs> All right, tomatoes, go. Y'all stop talking to each other so I can talk to Rosie. See, now you're just ticking her off. Dang it. Rosie! <laughs> Pumpkin seeds, eh? Alright, so our job is done here for now. Oh, finally. There you go. Thanks. Yeah, so our job over here is done for now. It's time to go adventuring. I should probably harvest some wheat, get some food together. Otherwise, we are off. We're gonna cross the bridge. All kinds of... Ooh, wow. A bunch of crazy stuff. Gather tomato seeds to the other side of the bog. Where's this one coming from? I mean, whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's go adventuring! Boy, this place is harder to get to than you'd think. So I've already talked to that guy, so I'm not worried about that. I am, however, worried about falling through the bridge. Okay, we made it. All is well in the land. Ooh, shiny. Oh, the shiny thing. That's a, um... Tomato seeds. Yeah. 
So you get tomato seeds the same way we got the other seeds before. You just come here and you break break crap. Pepperoni will help us out. We did it. Yeah, it's a little weird looking. I didn't... Like, I thought I'd seen a tomato seed before in my life, but once I saw that graphic, I wasn't so sure. Do what I can. What are these weird things here? That's... Ooh, getting all kinds. Dang it. These big slugs are kind of funny because they're not even aggressive. Unless, you know, you tick them off. Get hit, hit up you so I don't have to run back over here again. Ooh, sniffing more stuff out. Oh, sniffing out a chest for me. Wheat seeds. Hey, who are you? You're certainly a thing. It's how I look, sir. Yeah, I've heard the tale. Got a couple. Found them on my way. The ancient secrets. How they evolved to be able to grow at all without human intervention is unknown. In the real world, it's probably because we've genetically engineered them to be bigger and fuller. Look, I say genetic engineering, everybody's always scared of that, but like, it's not complicated. You're not like friggin' in a science lab, like, messing with their DNA or anything. All you do is like, you take two tomatoes, and you go, this one's really big, and so's this one. Let's have them mate together, and maybe their child will also be really big. And you just kind of keep doing that for, like, generations. And then eventually you just have some really big tomatoes. So we got to put down these, and then we got to plant some tomates. Well, I'll tell you in a minute. Clearing up all this crap behind you because sometimes you don't know what you're doing. Heck yeah. I am... Friggin' Malroth, weapon out! You talking bad about my buddy? I wonder what that builder looked like. Sounds like a regular adventurer though, really. Just come raid everybody's crap. Oh man. Getting some seeds. Fertilizer.
And now we can make a planting pole. Spiffy. Look, I'm sorry this place bothers me. Better. All right, well, we've still got some adventuring to do. Got a whole big old area out here to look at. Okay, so we got the little quest out that way. Let's go ahead and head and take a look at that. Look those hands are walking into the spikes and hurting themselves. We got you over here to talk to. Oh, we've got these, like, electric slimes, too. Mmm. Thanks. Okay, so back to what we were doing. What do you got for me, girl? Got me some goodies and some crabs. Oh, you know, I learned how to make that armor and I never did. Okay, clear out as much as we can so I can even tell what the heck is going on here. Okay, I think we're good. We did it! Okay, now back to what we were doing. Where are we going? Come on. We gotta learn about fertilizer. Man, rumors spread fast. I mean, it's... I mean... Alright, so fertilizer is cool stuff, but it also takes night soil, which we don't actually have right now. So let's just take another, um... Quick look around. See what we can find. Oh, so these are the night, these are the reapers. Um, once you know how to fight them, they're not bad. Of course, it would help if we didn't have, like, a friggin' you over here. And the slime there. Cat, dang it. All right, that's all the tomato seeds we need. Cool beans. Oh my goodness, again. You just, like, respawn. Okay, so what I'm really here for... Um, so we need that, but we need more night soil to do it, which there's probably some ready, but while I'm here, I'm gonna tackle this. It should be up this way. That's gonna be interesting to get to. Not so bad, though. We got it. I can see it on the map up in the corner, so you know it's right there. There we go. This one looks simple enough. Hardest part is that these are up so high. Yeah, dang it, dude. I'm trying to work here. Do you mind? Okay, so what you do is you kind of find an open space and you run circles. That way, he when he attacks, you're off. You're moving when he shows up to attack. 
so it's easier for you to get out of range of his initial attack, and then you just kind of wail on him. Um, be wary, because sometimes he does two attacks. So just kind of watch him for half a second and see if he is going to do the second attack. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're giving me your experience, you little piece of crap. Okay, that's going to be hard to get to, so I'm going to grab... There we go. The duty is done. All right, so let's go get some night soil and solve our problems. So bad news, nobody's pooped. Probably because I haven't been feeding them. So I fed them, gave them a whole bunch of wheat. They're still gonna have to work through that though. Cook it, eat it, go through the whole rigmarole. I was forgetting the G. I have sugar cane, sort of. I'll get those eventually. So we got two quests to finish up. Just gotta grab some sugar cane. And grab some poop. In the meantime, this path continues out this way. And we have a couple more quests out here, so let's take a quick look around. This is where the bad boons live. Okay, those just give more rope. Got some big old chunks of wood. Oh, they give like straight up bark, okay. Don't know what I'm gonna use bark for. So the quests were down south, but I'm gonna quick run up here and see what's up. We got a rat. We got this big old orc. Which, as I said, you can usually fight them, get a whole bunch of seeds. So not a lot going out on the peninsula, but you can see there's... Wow, man, there's a big old something off in the distance. How about that? Hey, somebody mentioned flowers before. Rosie wanted to see flowers. Okay, what else we got? We got this weird soil path leading up this hill. Wow, this is going somewhere. This is going way up here. here you go. Nothing fancy. Yeah, mostly just kind of a big old path. Not a lot of actually going on. Hey, wait, what's going on? What's with this? What's with this? Dripping off the back edge. Dude, is that a dia tree? Okay, let's get going. Spend enough time here already. So not a lot for us up here. A lot of neat landmarks, but nothing we can really do anything with right now. I do need seeds, so I'll probably be back for that guy at some point. I'm sure that may be important at some point. In the meantime, there's still a whole bunch of crap going on out this way, including a little quest. Hmm. 
Whoop. They could start loitering any minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be back to that in a moment, Pepperoni. I want to take a quick look. Back here, because it looks like there could be something back here. There is, right there, way back on the other side. Oh, it's right, it was right there in front of me this whole time. I ran right by it. I don't know what this little back passage is for. It was right up here. Oh, well that's spiffy. Got them all growing on their little green spot. I don't know why I was carrying one, but whatever. I mean, I know I picked up the one earlier, but I just find it funny that, like, oh, hey, I just happen to be carrying this around. I did. Okay, so we still got all these friggin' bodkin archers. These green faced ones seem a little less angry than the purple ones. You are not... Look, this is Dragon Quest. You are not gonna have a character that talks like Yoda and talks about turning to the dark side and that not be 100% intentional. Like I'm really playing an MMO. Okay, so we just gotta kill ten of them. I don't know where they all are. We drug them somewhere. Well, you know what? Let's just deal with them later. We got more exploring to do. healthy green. For them, maybe. If our, green, if our skin was that green, well, we wouldn't be doing so hot. Graves. Looks like a church of some form. Hey! Warp of the Ruined Church. Not what I wanted to do. What happens if I just pick this up? Funny. It has to be there. And a watermelon seed! Yeah! Oh, you're digging out more watermelon seeds for us over here? Oh, they're just like... few and far between. Okay, pumpkin seed, whatever. They're similar in size and nothing else. All right, well, let's take a look around. I'm not gonna go into the church just yet. I think I may save that for next time, but I am gonna grab all this crap. Man, big old fancy crap. Everywhere fancy crap. What is that doll? I got it. We're good. We're good. Oh, 
Like, this is going up somewhere. What's going on here? Might as well. Like this. Let's interact with that another time. Hey, this kind of goes around this side. What's going on over here? There you are, Pepperoni. Oh man, a cave! Okay, one second, Pepperoni. Okay, so, um... There's a bit of a quest and you kind of come out here. I was genuinely curious if you could just wander in the back. And like not even do. Oh wow, okay. We'll get back to that next time. Until then everyone, we are going to explore the church. And get some, what was it, wheat? Sugarcane. We can explore the church, get some sugarcane, kill some bowyers, archers, and grab some poop. Until then, everyone. <laughs>